What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darko and today we're going to be showing off a new mod which came out today, I guess. Uh, it came out on the 11th and we're recording this at 2.25am. <coughs> Anyways, uh, so a new mod that came out called Autofeed and this is once again by Aiden Fawn. Uh, very very cool guy or gal. Very cool person. Very cool person who makes mods. And we're going to be testing out Autofeed today and showing you how to install it, how to use it, how to edit it. Uh, so let's jump right in. Uh, you're going to want to go to the link in the description which I'll send you here or I could you know, upload it to my personal uh, mega.nz place and we're going to go to the files and manually download this. Alright, now that mine is done we're going to quickly get this to the side. We are going to open up our Steam. We're going to go to library. We're going to go to Valheim. Right click properties. Local files and browse. And then there this will bring up our main Valheim folder. And in this Valheim folder you should have your Beppin EX folder. And if you do not have this, please revert to the very first mod uh, tutorial that I made on how to get Weapon EX and more. So we're going to go to Weapon EX, we're going to go inside this folder. We're also going to open up this auto feed uh, WinRAR file. Uh, you should have this as well. If you do not have WinRAR or WinZip, I will put them in the description as well so you can go get those. And we are going to go to Plugins on the WinRAR Beppin EX. We're going to go to Plugins, just to make sure you're aware. And we're going to drag autofeed.dll inside of there. Now there is no configuration folder yet. We're going to get rid of this and I'm going to just put it to the side. You can actually delete this now if you wish. And uh, yeah, you should all be good. What we are going to go back to is the Valheim folder, so we can go back to here again. And we're actually going to go ahead and just run Valheim off the bat. Ooh, now that Valheim is actually running, let's just uh, sort the size out here for a second. There we go. Now that Valheim is running, what it should do is create its own config file within the config files of Beppin EX. I'll, I'll get into it and I'll uh, explain to you how it works. So we're going to start game, click on the character I use for my mods, mod showcase, and we're going to jump in. Alright, now that we're in, and just for this mod case alone, as you can see there is no red text on the uh, actual console command there. So we're going to maximize this, and we're going to go into like some sort of god mode here. We're going to go to dev commands, and we're going to go to debug mode. Once we've done that, we can press then B, and if you again, if you don't have this, or you know, we're just we're doing this on the premise that we have tamed wolves and we want to feed them from the container, and we don't have that currently, so we're going to go into God mode and do some things there. All right, so now that I've quickly set up a little pen here and summoned three wolves to spawn, I don't think they'll attack me because I'm in debug mode. Uh, what we want to do is, okay, they will attack me. What we wanted to, sorry, is go into our console commands and go to tame. There we go. And the wolves have been tamed. So now that these guys are tamed and I'm on my cheat account so I don't really have any like raw meat on me. What we're going to do is obviously cheat it in. So we're going to go to spawn, uh, raw meat 20. And there we have it. Now if we drop this on the floor they could eventually tame and yeah you know you have to drop on the floor and it's just a pain right? So we're going to just drop the raw meat in here and they should start... The mod should kick in. There you go so now they have to walk to the chest they start eating it from the chest and it works. It just, it just works guys it just works. Here we go again coming over they go to the chest and they munch on it and now they're making a baby and stuff you know? Pretty good, pretty good. Another extremely useful thing you could do with this, obviously if you've done the wolf tower like me, myself and I, is you wouldn't even need this top bit for like feeding the wolves essentially. You could bring the wolves up here, oops I'm still flying, you could bring the wolves up here, put them in there, trap them in there, and you go ahead and make a quick chest literally right next to them, or right up, right up to the door I'd say actually more than anything, like right up to the door so you can get the meat and you know chuck the meat inside there and they should be able to you know constantly create babies as long as this chest here is full oh and there you go guys a little baby hopped out and just to prove to you that they have been eaten 
There's 17 pieces in there, because, well, there was three wolves, but uh, one magically disappeared. That's crazy. However, there is now a little wolf cub, so it's like proof that they do eat out of the chest, and they do still create babies, like nothing's nothing's interrupting it, and everything's working fine, no red text, etc. I guess it's now time to show you the config files. Okay, and onto the config files. So now if you go back to your Valheim folder, which I said to leave open earlier, and we can go into Weapon FX. EX? EX, not FX. What am I talking about? Uh, we go to the config, and there is now do, 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 this uh, Aiden Fawn auto feed. We can now open this up with Notepad. And we'll bring this onto the correct screen. And this is where you can start messing around with things. The container range in meters, uh, set in type single, default value 10, so you can increase this uh, container range. And, I mean, you know, your animals from like far away could eat from that chest. Type of item to disallow as feed, comma, separates them. You'd want to add like, if you had, uh, let's say you had a chest full of different kind of foods and you didn't want the wolves or something to eat that kind of food, or you didn't want your boars to eat that kind of food, you'd have to find out what like the, the code name is for that kind of thing. Like, that just then what we were feeding them was raw meat, so you'd have to put raw meat in there comma to separate it and then add something else etc etc if you didn't want them to eat something this is the creature so again you'd have to find out what each thing is like grade wolf or something I mean if you've got the one of the mods is like tame wolf things so you could put like if you had that you'd have to put this in as well if you didn't want you know grade wolves to eat your stuff etc require animals to move to container to feed you could set this to false and the animals wouldn't actually need to go to that like feeding trough chest they would just eat it from wherever they are if you put this to false how close to move towards the container if required to move is true uh, you'd have to be in within a two meter proximity so you have to be really close to the chest to eat it if you put this higher again they could be miles away and eat it for free I think the rest is kind of self-explanatory, you don't really need me to explain any of that. But that's the main premise of the whole mod, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, massive shout out to a Aiden Fawn. I'm so sorry I forgot your name wrong, but you know, that's another really, really cool mod. And you know, it's like a feeding trough for your animals, and it's really cool. And that's basically how you get it to work without any red text, etc. If you get red text, let me know, or let the mod creator himself know. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this mod, hope this helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that business, all that promotion. I stream on Twitch all the time. If you want a certain mod showcase, please let me know in the comments or at me in the Discord, because that's where I am all the time. Yeah, have a good day, have a good night. See you later.